the, the spirit of significance, I believe, is a personality trait that you need to hold. And that spirit of significance is something where your community needs to benefit from what you do. We're cultivating entrepreneurial thinking and I can apply that to every area in my life. And it has resonated with me because it's changed the way that I approach situations. We all want to be listened to, we all want to put our voice out there, but at the end of the day we want to make other people's lives better and have found a solution that's better for our society and for ourselves. The outcome of Connect Camp is based on community building and spirit of significance. You want to move the society from being a stuck community to a um, restorative community. Stuck communities is where people are harboring bitterness, challenges. A restorative is where communities sit down and say, now that there's problems, how do we move from that point to the next point? We are in a stuck community. We are loggerheads with one another in such circumstances where no one's moving forward because everyone's just wanting to be resolute in their ways. You've got people coming from everywhere and having to, to relate to each other in a context where they can't historically and financially. Um, and that, that's what makes this so difficult. I think, I think the most important part about a community, I believe, is that it's a collective of individuals from different walks of life who want to attain a similar goal. So I believe that the objectives that we need to move towards is what are going to keep us bound and what's going to keep us a community. Out of the 94 plus of us, we need to create better bonds with one another. We need to network with one another. We need to be a family, essentially. When we moved into the defining moment, that was a moment where candidate fellows got to share a bit more about who they are, where they came from, and what moment led to them being where they are now. You can't be an entrepreneur without having picked up different skills from other people, without hearing different people's stories and journeys. I knew that I was going through my own personal things, but I never realized that other people were going through the same things too. My story is significant because it had affected other people and sort of gave them the courage to say, I went through that too. And to decide on what you're going to do collectively as a group when the scholars get here. If I think I've got this idea in my head and I've thought it completely through, right, someone else will challenge my idea and I'll be like, but what about this aspect? We fight, we disagree, we debate, we discuss. But what I like about that is we allow each other the space to express what we feel. And then they'll be excited and say, where's the noise coming? Then they'll come to the noise. Conflict and tension is part of the process and it's also part of them filtering out the great ideas and the ideas that will make the maximum impact. You have to sort of take a step back, allow yourself to be led by other people. It creates a connectedness of like, we are working together and everyone isn't equal. It, you, you garner a spirit of value within each and every person. People got really tired towards the end of it and it seemed like it was dragging out and we were going around in circles. But then the resilience really came through and one of our team members was able to redirect us to back to the whole point of Connect Camp and community and the reason why we're all here. So it's not always smooth sailing, but it's challenging. happy to welcome you into this space with us and we're incredibly excited to enjoy this day with you. We first going to start in a circle and everybody's going to say you know what their biggest fear is. Some of the main trends were bullying um, and adapting to a space where there's a hierarchy and you having to, to fit and find your place within that. I was a scholar too. Okay. So where you guys are right now I sat there in 2011. Personally, being a scholar myself, an ex-scholar, I understand their journey and I could kind of relate to that on a, on a much more personal level than I think a lot of other people feel. It was, it was really a learning process. I, I feel like I also learned more from them um, rather than they, them learning from me. Upon engaging with them around these challenges and around what the scholars go through every day, you found that the candidate fellows were then taken aback and very, very impressed. The biggest learning was how to often challenge your own assumptions about um, the next person or the next group uh, before you 
even engage with them. We've learned a lot from them, telling us about their past experiences, like the problems they had, and solutions on how to solve them, so it was very fun. The candidate, candidate fellows were, um, they were really inviting and they were really kind to us and they really did teach us a lot. I learned a lot of new things that I never knew at all. Choosing your career, because like that's the main thing, like I'm scared, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. But then yeah, they told us to relax and like think carefully about it, yeah. I was literally riding on two hours of sleep and you guys just drained everything out of me, but you know, I really liked it. Um, I loved it. <laughs> I really... Everyone was anxious, no? yeah. but I think today I learned what community was because there was a common objective yes. and we reached it. Yes. But, but more than that, the manner in which we reached it, it was, yes. it was such a mutual respect for everyone, yes. you know? I think that was major key. We are we on the path of getting community right. I just feel that we just need to be able to listen a bit more to the non-popular views at the moment and where even someone says something they're against, just to continue to engage with them with further matters, even if they disagree on a particular matter. I feel like this camp finally, you know, opened that door to say, these are our issues. For the first time, everything was spilling out of the box. And there's such a huge opportunity for growth in that. Um, because now the cat's out of the bag and we have to deal with it. The spirit of significance begins in the smallest quantities possible and extends outwards. You know, I understand why it's called Connect Camp. Because the community connected this weekend. And that was what was happening and that was what was important. Connect Camp has been a deeper connection. Understanding where different people are coming from and understanding that in you know, a space with such huge diversity, so many different people can actually meet um, you know, towards a common goal.